Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are fired up today for this message, and hopefully you will share it with others in your life that could use a little bit more of intentionality. Intentionality is not a perfume. Just so you know, intentionality is not a perfume. And intentionality is not comfortable. Zig Ziglar used to say that men and women are either a wandering generality or they are a meaningful specific based on the clarity of the vision they have for their life, the goals they've set for themselves, and the direction that they are headed. Why? What? We're either the leaf on Forrest Gump. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na, just floating around, going through the motions, or we are like an arrow that is shot from a master archer's bow, headed in a certain direction. And so intentionality is not a perfume. Intentionality is not comfortable. Intentionality is not natural. And intentionality is not easy. And yet, it is the difference between you maximizing your ability to have a greater chance to succeed with the goals you have set for yourself, or it will be the excuse maker that you have for non-performance. You're either known for execution or excuses. I hate to say it, the B-I-B-L-E says, even a child is known by his ways. How are you known? Are you known for execution or excuses? Are you known for results or reasons? Do you understand? Are you known for your success or your stories? And there's a path along that line, and yet there's a habit that's created through a mindset. And I want to share with you exactly what intentionality feels like this morning. In San Antonio, in Texas, there's a great store called HEB. It is an incredible food store owned by a very philanthropic billionaire and his family. They are major givers in our community and it's a fantastic store. And so I want you to imagine if you will go with me in the theater of your mind. And imagine is if you were going shopping today and you ran into an old high school friend and you saw this old high school friend and you hadn't seen them in years and years and years and you have a great connection. You say, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. How are you? And you just stop everything in your world to connect and both of you realize this is awesome. This is super cool. This is great that we get to visit again. And as you realize, a half an hour has gone by. And so you say, we really need to get together. We really need to have lunch or something sometime. Yes, well, give me your number. Give me your number. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. It's so good seeing you. Now you mean it. Your intention is right. You really do mean it in the moment. The chances of you guys getting together for lunch to connect, as you mentioned, mm, one in a thousand. Because you're going to get busy. They're going to get busy. And life will move on and you may go years and years again with never seeing them again. Now, that is the natural way of doing things. That's the way people do things. Yet, when you meet an intentional person, a meaningful, specific, a person who has created and developed a habit that has positioned them for having greater opportunity for success in their endeavors because they are intentional, here's how the scenario plays out with a person of intentionality. You run into H-E-B, you're shopping, you run into your old high school friend, you have an amazing conversation. Oh my gosh, how are you? That's great. This is going on in your life. This is going on in my life. And the next thing you know, 30 minutes goes by and you go, well, gosh, it's so good seeing you. It was so great reconnecting with you again. Hey, we really need to get together. We need to have lunch or something. Yes, we do. We need to have lunch and get together. Give me your number. I'll give you my number. And then the person of intentionality does and says this. I have a better idea. I have my phone right here with me. Do you have your phone? Fantastic. Let's look at the next two weeks on our schedule and let's schedule our time together. Okay? Okay? Intentionality 
is not a perfume when you stop and say, let's commit. We know exactly what we intend to do. Let's now commit to exactly when we intend to do it so that the intentions and the wishes do not die with the departure. Rather, the seed has been planted with a commitment to actually execute on what you both desire anyway. Now, will your girlfriend freak out when you say, oh my goodness, that's great, we do need to get together. I've got my schedule right here. Do you have your schedule? Let's look at the next couple of weeks. Let's see if we can get together. They're gonna be like, is this girl for real? In their heads. Well, you're gonna say, yes, this girl's for real because this is a girl of intentionality. You meet at H-E-B, you love each other, you see each other, you miss each other, you're excited to hang out with each other, and you say, well, we need to get together sometime. You are not gonna get together sometime. Well, let's exchange numbers. You are not gonna call each other and get together sometime. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it because life gets in the way. People have bad habits. They have great intentions, and yet they're not intentional. There's not an intentionality there, and it feels weird and freaky and uncomfortable as you create the habit of intentionality. We need to get together. We do need to get together. Give me your number, girl. Here's my number, girl. That's great. Hey, I have my phone right here. Um, what does your next two weeks look like? Thursdays and Fridays are the best for me for lunches. How about you? The other person may react like that, you see, because most people are not used to intentionality. And so if you intend to actually produce or procure something that is in alignment with your goals, then intentionality will need to become part of your life. You will not only have clarity on your exactly what lever, but now you bring in the exactly when lever. And when you combine exactly what with exactly when, and you write it and commit to that, that, my friend, is it, we need to go see a movie together. We need to go to Fredericksburg together. Oh my gosh, we ought to have lunch sometime. You ain't gonna go to the movie, you ain't gonna go to Fredericksburg, and you ain't gonna have lunch together. Unless you say, let me look at my schedule, you look at your schedule right now. And let's put it on our schedule right now. And let's talk about when we can meet right now. You put it in the schedule, intentionality. Your ability to commit to developing the habit of intentionality will move you from being a person who's known for excuses into a person who's known for execution, for being known as a person who has reasons or becoming a person who has results, for becoming a person who has a sad, sad, sad story or someone who has a success story. You see, you have the option to do this by intentionality. So it's my desire today to plant the little seed in your head that if you are not being intentional, the things you intend to happen will typically not come to pass. Hey, we all have good motives. We all have good desires. We all want the good stuff in life. My question to you is this, are you intentional about it or might it just accidentally show up? The difference, ladies and gentlemen, is you living a big life 